All right, guys, this is, uh, this is a video on the HDP-50, and it's about when you're using HPA and high power in these, that little rubber detent seal in the breech just blows to pieces and comes out of the barrel. Um, once that happens, your balls will, they'll not seat in there properly. They'll roll out the barrel. Um... I uh, I upgraded just long ago with a 25 round magazine and I, I use a stepper spring. Um, that kind of helps um, with the balls not rolling out, but with a violent enough shake or if you drop it, it'll still happen. And um, yeah, I just Sean Kemper come up with a fix. He made these detents out of PEX, this plastic stuff. And apparently it's very durable, but he sent me one out in the mail. I had it sent to my parents' address. I just recently moved. Um, but also, Gregorio Mara has sent me out a couple that he has had made. He's had a buddy make them for him. And I put it in, and wow, do they fit great? No more rollouts. The balls don't roll out no more. I even dropped this marker right on this exact same concrete from about 12 inches off the ground. I just let it go on its side with the scope off and everything. And no rollouts at all. So I'm pretty convinced that that rollout issue is fixed now. Never had any problems shooting it before, but like I said, this isn't a modification. It's just a part replacement. Um, but yeah, so once that rubber blows out, just go and inside and take out the remainder of it and yeah add one of these new ones uh pretty sure he's he's got them they're pretty cheap um he sent me over a couple to test out but i'm gonna be running 1100 hpi with it and to see whether or not it holds up or or not i'll know right after one five or ten shots because that's all it took to blow out the last one so if this can hold up to about 10 shots or so then I'm pretty convinced that it's it's going to work. But if not, too, if they do wear down over time, they're very cheap and easy to replace. So, um, Yeah, we got a little, just a measly piece of half wood, half inch plywood. Um, half this power will go through that like nothing. But yeah, I just want to check it out and see how it holds. And yeah, just... Give me a second here and let me get this mounted back up. <clears throat> okay, I'm just setting up the stand here. The camera for the camera. Um, yeah, I always have issues putting this back on. Sometimes it turns my video off, but here, I'll give it a go. <clears throat> See the crony? Let me turn it it's a little bit chilly down here. Let <clears throat> um, me take this down a little bit. I mean, not that we need a crony. This thing should be over a hundred joules. Um, oh, I also wanted to show you guys how to load it too. Um, yeah, I'll just bring this over again. Okay. Got this on the ground. Alrighty. Okay, so um, when you load these, still load the balls up up through the bottom there, and 
not sure if you guys can see it here at the front, but there's a, a steel rod here. I pull that out, and then it allows me to put all the 25 rounds in. And then, yeah, it just pushes them back up. I had to extend the tube for the balls, so to hold that many balls. But yeah, you just pull it out here from the side of this little rod, and it's got a longer spring. And yeah, you just load the steel balls right in, and good to go. Uh, all right, I'll get this back over. <clears throat> okay. sure how well I can see it from this angle. Maybe if I go on this side. <sighs> can we see that? Okay, I'm just gonna get some bearings and put it in. Cut the hole. Oh yeah. Okay. Alrighty, so I just put 10 in for now. Um, then it takes a few to blow away that detail to, to stock one. Um, oh, I didn't even add the oil. I'm gonna put some oil into some cheap re oil. It's silicone up in the in the tube, in the chamber. But yeah, so far the detent seems really great. Nothing's falling out. <clears throat> I did that before, one would come out the barrel. <clears throat> okay. Gas this sucker up. Uh, 
And slide check. All right, there's the click. Shot one. That's strange, these numbers. Huh. Very strange. 